Hi, I'm Kristen Wade, and I would like to welcome you to the Creek Week Crew Leader Training video. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you. We appreciate your efforts and your time to volunteer to help us with this massive cleanup effort. Additionally, we'd like to thank our sponsors and all of our Brew Shed Alliance members. Hi, I'm Teresa Vieira, and I'm part of the Brew Shed Alliance. And we too participate in Creek Week because we feel it's important to keep our waterways clean. As the crew leader, you must coordinate the date, time, location, and trash plan for your event. Additionally, you are responsible for ensuring that the safety guidelines are reviewed with your crew and that any mandated regulations are followed. If you need assistance with any of these things, again, please be sure to reach out to us via email. Someone from the Creek Week Steering Committee will be sure to respond to you as quickly as possible. Whether you are a new crew leader or a seasoned veteran, we hope that you'll find the information and suggestions in this video helpful. Please watch to the end to ensure that you receive all of the information. And remember, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always reach out to us via email. This video will review some important safety guidelines for you and your crew, and also provide tips and tricks to help ensure that you have a great time. To lead an effective cleanup event, it's important that you understand your role as the crew leader. There are a few things that you need to do prior to the event, as well as some important information that you need to provide back to the Creek Week Steering Committee at the end of your event. Recruit crew members ahead of time. Some of you may have a employee event or you could have a scout troop that you are going to bring to your crew, but others may need to advertise in order to get enough crew members to come out and assist with the trash cleanup. Assign a crew leader. Crew leaders are important to help your day go smoothly and for an information focal point for your volunteers. Crew leads and assistants should take some time prior to the event to go to their site and scope out the area. By doing this, you can identify any dangerous situations, um, potentials for uh, safety concerns that you need to address with your crew specifically before they start cleaning up. And you can also identify things such as uh, homeless camps or hazardous areas and areas that are most in need of cleanup effort. Share out your name and phone number as well as the assistant crew leader's name and phone number to all of the crew members that join. That way you can increase good communication both prior to and during your event. Send out a reminder about your event. Provide your crew with additional information before the event such as safety guidelines, reminders to wear closed toe shoes, and to bring sun protection. Plan ahead by providing water or even snacks for your crew. They often appreciate that little touch. Make sure you go online to our crew leader resources and print off all paperwork ahead of time. All of those documents can be found in our crew leader resources page on FountainCreekWeek.com. The documents you're going to want to look for are the cleanup checklist, the Creek Week agreement, the group waiver, the safety guidelines, and a survey for all the members of your team to fill out at the end of the event. If you have an event with minors, especially if it's a scout troop where parents may be dropping them off ahead of time, try to get your waivers signed by parents and guardians before the event. In addition to cleaning our waterways, there are a few other things that you can do to help provide opportunities for your crew members to join in the fun. Our most experienced crew leaders have learned that volunteers really appreciate some of the extra special touches that you can add. Things like hiding 719 rocks or creating Pokemon lures. Get creative. Also, make sure that you bring some snacks and refills for their water bottles. Maybe even plan an after party event for your crew, possibly at a brewery or other venue. Additional opportunities that we have to help out at our cleanup events without actually having to pick up the trash include downloading the Clean Swell app. This app allows us to track the types of trash that we find at our cleanup events. Download the app. Instructions for how to use it will be included when you pick up your Creek Week materials. Another great app that you can have your volunteers use is called iNaturalist. Especially if you have a trail that isn't heavily littered, this is a great opportunity for them to take pictures of the flora and fauna near the waterways. You'll find instructions in your materials for this app as well. During Creek Week, we want to make sure you and your crews are as safe as possible 
while you're out helping us clean up these wonderful resources. Please work together in pairs or groups. Do not send any members of your crew out by themselves. Please remember to wear bright colors or safety vests during your event. Use gloves, proper footwear, and the grabbers provided to you in your crew leader kit. Something that really helps, if you have a wagon or something that you can pull around along the trail system, please bring it along. Helps you get supplies and water to the work site. It can also help you bring some of those full trash bags back up to the trail. To maximize resources and keep our events sustainable year after year, we do ask that crew leaders bring any materials that you've collected from previous events and encourage your volunteers to do the same. Please use caution. You're gonna be down near the water's edge. Please don't enter any swift moving water and use really good judgment and uh, self-control when you're trying to pull some stuff out of the creek. Avoid any cloudy water as well. If you find any tires out there along your stretch, please be sure to kick them, turn them over, drain them of all the water that's inside of them. Be very careful bringing those up to the trail. You never know what's lurking inside. If your cleanup crew comes across a hypodermic needle, make sure you're working in pairs to pick it up. One person can pick it up with the grabber, while the other guides the end of the grabber towards the sharps container for you to drop it. When you're moving through the event, please remember, as you're filling trash bags and bringing them back up to the trail, please secure them, um, tie them, place them by the trail. We have crews coming along to load those into trailers or trucks and moving them along. Sometimes along these trail corridors, you'll find illegal camping. Please avoid these areas at all costs. The city has specially trained crews that come out and deal with these situations. If you find any big or heavy pieces of trash along there, please report that to the GoCo app and professional crews will come out and remove those. We can't overstress safety enough. We want you to have a wonderful day. You're giving a lot back to this community Use good judgment, common sense, and be safe at all times. Once the heavy lifting is over, there are a few things that you need to do in order to report out the information um, that we use to help provide data back to the city about the success of our event. Here are some things that you need to keep in mind. Be sure to take pictures during your event. Before and after photos, show the extent of the cleanup that your group was able to do. Remember to fill out the crew leader survey and also ask your crew members to fill out a survey as well before they leave the event. Make sure you submit all waivers, surveys, photos, and agreements to the Creek Week Steering Committee at creekweeksoco at gmail.com. If you have an after party with your group, make sure to take some photos of that too. It's always great to see the members of your crew out having a good time and enjoying the success of your cleanup event. After your event, when you pack up all of your supplies, please feel free to keep those supplies, especially if you're gonna be joining us again in the future or becoming a member of the Adopt Waterway program so that you can do additional cleanups throughout the year. Thank you for watching this video and for donating your time to lead a Creek Week cleanup event. Please be sure that you or a representative from your crew attends one of the material pickup dates that were sent out via email. Committee members will be on hand to answer any questions or address concerns at those material pickup dates. Or as always, you can send those to us via email. Thank you for your time, and I hope that you have a fantastic event.